All right, today I'm going to do a review on this Fiaci RDS 25. And uh, there's some debate on the name because it says here's the RDS 25. And you look here, it also says RDS 22. And I think on Amazon they list it as RDS 22. But I'm going to go ahead and put a link to it in the description below. But what it is is basically a TRS 25 by Bushnell. This is theirs. Of course, this is painted. Um, but it's the exact same product. And I, I found a few small changes or differences in this one versus the TRS-25. But the RDS-25 um, has different caps. They're a little bit taller in profile next to the TRS-25. Um, but the also thing is that there is no spring in here. There's springs that kind of keep tension on the on the mounting system here, and there's none for here. But I don't find that to be a, a big issue for me. You know, all it does is just kind of help sponge it in place and help mount it. Not a big deal. Um, and then also here on the front, it's a little dirty. But on the front here, you can see kind of the, where you look into the optic, it's flat, right? Well, here on the RDS-25, they added this piece, which, oops, sorry. They added this piece, which kind of gives it some recess. Um, and that way it kind of helps protect that looking glass right there. So that's kind of a cool feature that it I consider a bonus. Um, and then the, the optics, the... As far as the um, you know coatings on the actual lens on the front, you know I can't find a difference on them. They have the same coloration. You know when you look at it from different angles, um, so it's going to be filtering out um, certain things in in the light um, spectrum, kind of give you the same clarity. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and mount this on to some firearms, give it some testing, give it a little bit of a run through. And I'm going to be mounting it onto my Mossberg 500A. And then, of course, I got a TRS-25 already mounted onto my AR-15, but I think a 12-gauge is going to test its durability a little bit more. So anyways, I'm going to take this out to the range and test it out. And this sucker is obviously about $25 cheaper than the TRS-25. Um, but anyways, this is the package that it came in. And it already came with a battery inside. And here we have, uh, you know, um, an extra battery as well as uh, the uh, Torx wrench there to attach it. So, all right, we're going to start off by putting six rounds of the two and three quarter inch target load on there. five more put a few in that bucket there and see if we can hit those clay targets out there all right guys next we're going to be doing the one ounce slugs uh two and three quarter inch shells winchester so red dot's working fine right now so this is the first time patterning it or i guess placing it on a on a target, so let's see, see how it does. Let's see where this thing is aiming. check out those three and we'll uh, place another two on there. All right guys so that was the group right there of three shots you can see two of them kind of punched the, the same hole in there. Uh, first one is up here but uh, for rifle slug that's a pretty good group at uh, 25 yards so I'm going to dial it to the right a little bit. All right so it came over uh, brought the 
windage to the right a little bit. So we'll see kind of where these next shots land us. So um, got two rounds left to go. Let's see how it goes. Red dot still good. Here we go. All right, so went ahead and made the adjustments here. So you can see that uh, my MOA clicks were about three times too much. So um, you know what? That's one MOA, you know, per click. Um, you know, I was almost thinking it was quarter MOA. So that, that's one MOA. So actually, I was my bad. I should have um, only done about ten on there. So. Um, I'll make that adjustment right now um, and move on to my turkey load uh, for the next shot. All right, for the review of science, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, three inch turkey loads in here. Um, not looking forward to this one. <laughs> no. uh, all right, so I went ahead and adjusted it, uh, put it 20. 22 back in the other direction to the left. I'm going to go ahead and aim at that lower target there where I put the slugs. We'll see where it patterns. All right, guys, I want to give you a quick look on the red dot itself because so you can kind of see what I'm looking at behind here. This is uh, the, the red dot looking down towards the barrel. You can see a nice, crisp, clear red dot. Has not changed. All right, guys. Here's what we got so far. So the first group is right there. As you can see, it's pretty messy. Um, that was the first five shot group. We changed it 10 up, 10 right. And we got about, we got two inches up and two and a half inches to the right. And then we went down 20 and 20 left. And we had 7.5 inches down and four inches left. So it looks like the right to left adjustments are good, but the up and down um, is a little bit of an issue. And I've noticed that the elevation knob was a little sticky. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do 10 up and 10 to the right and see where we land. All right, guys, went ahead and made the adjustments. 10 up, 10 right. Put some rounds on target, five rounds on target. Let's see where they are. Check it out. All right, guys, so we're here after we've done the tracking drill. And so we blew out about a one inch hole right here in the center and I, it, you can't even distinguish it from the three shots that were landed there earlier you can just tell that more was blown out in there to a pretty large extent um, i was able to make out one new round on this side and one up in that corner and two down here so um, i'm assuming all five landed there final thoughts on the fiaci rds 22 uh, is it a TRS-25? Uh, I think it's slightly less than that, but I think it's adequate. I think it's uh, a reasonable uh, budget optic for your AR platform for sh uh, close range shooting. Uh, from Fiaci, you know, I think they did a decent job copying it, uh, and it performs well. You know, it held at zero. Uh, we went ahead and fired um, rounds out of the Mossberg 500A. Uh, we went and did 25 target loads. We did five slugs, one ounce uh, rifled slugs out of there. We also did the turkey loads, which are pretty hefty. Went one and three quarter ounce shot, at 1,300 feet per second. So that was um, that was testing on the optic as well as my shoulder. <laughs> so you know, I think it performed all right. Uh, when I moved it to the AR platform, uh, it showed that it held zero, it, and it also tracked. Uh, I think it could have tracked a little better in the elevation area uh, or, or adjusted better in the elevation area. Um, started getting a little bit sticky when I was doing the adjustments at top. 
uh, wasn't as tactile, but it, it was still there and we showed that it, it tracked. So um, would I recommend this? I'd say yes on a, on a budget platform. I think it's uh, perfectly fine to put it on there. Uh, so once again, if you have any questions, post them down in the comments section below. Hit like, subscribe, helps me out. And uh, if you want to purchase this, I'll, I'll put that down in there in the video description as well as the comment section. So thanks, guys.